And just like any other med student, we wake up, jump straight out of bed, and we go to the first place, the most important place that we could find every single morning, and that is directly to the coffee machine. What is up and good morning YouTube. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jason, first year medical student at GW. Today is going to be a busy day. So let's get right into it with my favorite thing ever, Anki. <laughs> busy busy day so yesterday just finished up cardio so done with the heart for now <laughs> um, and today we start off with renal so everything about the kidneys but today is gonna be busy just because of scheduling um, so on today's agenda we have the CTR scholarly concentration um, we have a lecture today that I have to attend and then I have my renal anatomy lab and then I have a presentation to do on AFib. So just a busy day and I guess just the way it is. So I have to make sure that I'm ready for my anatomy lab because there I have a quiz and then make sure to review my presentations that way I'm ready and prepared for that. But yeah, I just want to take you guys along with me with a busy day. I opened up my Instagram for a Q&A. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, I'll put the link down in the bio so that way you guys are in the loop of what I do on more day-to-day -day type of things. Um, but there I opened up a Q&A to see what questions you guys would have for me for a medical student. So as I'm going through the day, I decided to just answer some questions. Oh, as much as I know, you guys know how much I love pushing spacebar over and over again. Let's go get to the fun part of the gym. All right, friends, it's gym time. So today I'm gonna be hitting some shoulders and triceps, uh, but I wanted to ask you guys, leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys wanna see some sort of workout split, like how do I work out, what do I do while I work out, especially how do I fit it into my time as a medical student where we have this much time. So leave a comment down below. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's oh, a deal, right? Absolutely brutal workout. Rent has been paid. Now let's go answer some questions. All right, so I wanted to shower up first before answering these questions but uh, like I said earlier posted on my Instagram a Q&A and if you guys had any questions for a medical student you know about medical school what life is like anything like that so posted that tried to see what you guys had and, and what you were interested in figuring out so I had two questions that I want to answer right now the first one comes from Christy uh, it says what do you do once you have been accepted finding it hard to chill tbh um, so first off, congrats, Christy, on being accepted to medical school because that is a huge accomplishment in and of itself. But I totally understand where you're coming from. So I was actually accepted fairly early on in the application cycle. I applied regular decision, but I found out in October that I had been accepted to GW. So with that being said, that puts a massive weight off your shoulders. But then you ask yourself, is there something that you should be doing? And the answer, it sounds weird, is no. You should be taking this time to kind of relax, decompress. You work so hard to get to this point. Enjoy your free time while you have it because once med school starts, you lose all free time. And you know, if there really is something that you wanna do, um, you could look into Anki and try to understand how it works. 
Um, I think another good way is to you know watch YouTube videos on med students and how or what they do during the day. So again, continue to watch my videos because uh, that's an easy way to kind of understand what goes on and, and get yourself mentally prepared. But do not study, do not try to do extra work. Not worth it because once you start, it's going to be a whole another ball game that you're just we're not actually ready for. So again, just relax. And then the second question I got from. Um, my buddy actually Nick so shout out to Nick he asked when can it be over and that is a very complicated question in and of itself so let's take my personal example and what I want to do so for me I am trying to go into oncology that's what I want to specialize in so with that being said that means I have the rest of med school so let's count med school as four years then I would have to go into internal medicine residency, which would be another three years. And then if I want to sub specialize into oncology, that's an additional three years. So 10 years before I am practicing by myself licensed to do so. And we have cut off half a year by making it through the first semester. So nine and a half years left for me, um, but wouldn't want to be doing anything else. So again, I'll be answering more questions as we kind of go throughout the day but wanted to crank out those first two because I think good questions. So again, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. That's the best way to kind of watch and see day-to-day -day stuff that I do. And so that way when I post these Q and A's, you guys have the opportunity to respond. Okay, so let's get back into studying and preparing for anatomy because we don't want to fail this quiz. Three sessions back to back to back with a lot going on. So let's get dressed into our uniform. Boom, into the comfy scrubs. Oh, can't forget, boom. Patagonia on. Now we're actually ready to go. And by that we have to run because we are going to be late. So let's go. So like I said, we have our scholarly concentration meeting talking about statistical analysis and how and best to use it. And then we have anatomy right after that and then presentation time. So get into it. Just finished up with lecture, off to anatomy lab we go. Oh. All right, just snagged a room in the library. Finished up with the anatomy lab, it was tough, but glad to have got that over with. Now I have a few minutes, how many minutes? A few minutes left to prepare before I have to give a presentation on AFib. So I'm gonna look that over and then um, look through some emails, get those things done. Yeah, this day just never ends. Presentation time. Finish up happy hour with some of the board members for our new oncology student interest group. Trying to figure out plans for the rest of the semester into new year, getting all the logistics done. Now time to home, now time to go home, shower up and get out of these scrubs. Finally home. It 
is close to seven o'clock. Been out of here since 11 ish, so long day. Let's uh, shower up, get out of these gross formaldehyde smelling scrubs, and answer the last question from my Instagram poll. All right, let's chat. Let me grab a little iPad as a cheat sheet. Let's see what the comment was that we want to address. The comment, the question. Um, let's see, let's pull it up here. Okay. The last question comes from Wiz. The question is, how much volunteer work do you really need to get accepted to a med school program? And very good question, actually. Um, I think it really depends. I don't think that there's a certain number of hours that you really need to hit. But if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link in my description of my full AMCAS application. I show you guys everything in there. You can check out the hours of different volunteer things that I did. But I think the big thing is not necessarily the hours, but what you've gained and experienced from it. So of course they wanna see that you've been there and have been doing a lot of work with the volunteer organization. They wanna see that you've been there for a long time. The big thing that they wanna see is growth within the program. So they wanna see that you started in at this very low level, just an entry level, and then you worked your way up and so you became president or something like that. But the big thing is showing commitment to this organization. So however many hours that really takes, and they all know that people are boosting up their hours, so none of them are truly accurate. But I think it's an important part of your application, and I think it helps you stand out, especially at a school like GW, where public health is so emphasized that having volunteer work, I think, will help you in the long run. So those are the questions that I have. Hope I was able to address them. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment them down below. Or even better, probably go to my Instagram, leave me a DM, and I'll be sure to respond. Um, but let's go take care of the rest of the things that I need to do for tonight. All right, just need to take care of some logistics as far as tomorrow goes, honestly. Um, some emails that I wanna send out now, and that's probably gonna be it for me. Glad you guys have joined me along for the journey of a busy day of a medical student. Had the morning off, which was kinda chill, but the morning was really just to prepare for the rest of the day. And then we had a research meeting on how do we understand and utilize statistical analyses. Then had the anatomy lab on renal anatomy and a quiz. Uh, and then follow that up with a presentation. And then, surprise, went out to celebrate with some of my classmates and my other board members for the oncology student interest group that I've started here at GW. And now I'm home and I am exhausted. So again, thank you guys so much. I've been feeling all the love and support from you guys. It's been unbelievable. Love to see the growth of the channel. Um, but again, please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know what do you guys really want to see from me? Do you guys want to see more week in the life, more day in the life, what else I do, gym routines, food, whatever it may be, leave a comment down below and let me know because I want to make content that one, I enjoy, but also that you guys enjoy. So again, leave that in the comments below, but I'll catch you guys in the next one as we embark on the journey, MD in the making. Peace.